feel like my messy bun just keeps getting messier. I like your buns. I mean your bun. <laughs> <It's so goofy. laughs> Everyone else says welcome to the channel. Hello, Hello dear, dear friends. friends. Welcome, welcome back, back to the, the Amundsen, Amundsen Family, Family Channel. channel. Today we're doing a series called What's the Difference What's series? What's the difference? Congo versus USA. USA. And today we're going to be starting off with a, an all things food, food mm -hmm. category for our What's the Difference series, Congo versus USA. Yes. So if you want to know the difference between Congo and USA, keep on watching. If you're new here, welcome. Hi, how are you? And if Hello. you've been here for a long time, hi, and thank you so much for coming back. We yes. appreciate you. So please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. It would mean a lot to us. Join us for the journey. Yeah, thank you. Sorry to interrupt you, babe. Oh, you should be. <laughs> <laughs> so to start off, uh, it, we'll talk about the first meal of the day. Yes, that's breakfast. A good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a wonderful place to start. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important in American, uh, let's say USA breakfasts, uh, to have. It just depends. So on a casual morning, it's just going to be cereal. You're just going to have milk and cereal. Right. Okay. Just throw some cereal in a bowl or some granola and some milk. Go to town. Right. Mm -hmm. So common drinks would be orange juice, milk. Um, maybe some other kind of fruit juice or just a little water mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna if we do a big breakfast we're gonna be having potatoes and eggs and some kind of meat like bacon, bacon or sausage, sausage. Yeah. Uh, and then probably something sweet pancakes <laughs> french <laughs> toast uh, or just some toast on the uh -huh. side with jam uh -huh. so that's a typical American breakfast and most uh, most USA folk will have a breakfast of some sort. Some sort, that's yeah. true. Yeah. And what's the difference, you might ask? Well, in Congo, it's a lot different. Um, is that a word? A lot different? Yeah. A lot? Oh, okay. <laughs> For some reason, it didn't sound right. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's really different. Okay, so breakfast, depending on if you have or have, have, then the have's not. Um, you might, if you could afford it, you might have, what's called mapa, which is bread, bread. and um, tea, which is just Lipton tea with um, powdered milk, which is, the brand name is called Nido, and you just put that in the tea and you stir it mm -hmm. with a little bit of sukali, which is sugar, sukali. and that is your breakfast mm -hmm. for the halves. Yeah. And then mapa bread is also a big deal if you mm -hmm. can afford it. So like our breakfast, we would have mapa. You'll just break it like this. And again, if you were wealthy, um, manteca, you would have butter and you'll just put it on your bread like so. And you'll eat it. So you guys go ahead, get, let Papa get some and pass it around. So we wouldn't like do this. We wouldn't do that. We actually like would dip our bread in and then just eat it. What what differences have you seen so far in the breakfast? Um, we wouldn't do tea. Mm -hmm. Not traditionally, not in the U.S. You guys would do like coffee, orange juice, right? Uh, milk. Uh huh. Well, maybe water. Mm -hmm. So this is tea with needle. Tea with needle. Is there sugar? Mm-hmm. And sukali was also a hot commodity. Yeah, it's Forgive sweet. Me. It's really good though. Thank you. So like if again if you had the means to, 
If you can afford sugar, then you would have sugar in your um, tea. But majority of the time, I remember not going going without breakfast to school. So um, it was once in a great while. I, that tea's actually pretty good. Yeah, you tried it actually the other mm -hmm. day. And um, some people might have what we call mikate, which is some people call it puff puffs um, in different uh, African countries. And that in Guba which is peanuts so and some water and that is your breakfast so, so mikati is like a fried dough ball mm -hmm. and I, it's slightly sweet not as sweet not as, as like an american donut, donut right. but i would call it like an african donut donut a absolutely Congolese donut right yeah so that is one of the first differences we have noticed uh the mm -hmm. other difference is that a lot of a uh, of the Congolese food that we eat are hand food so we eat with mm. our hands mm -hmm. so in the not that we don't have utensils but a lot of our meals calls for your hands right some people depending on if you're bougie or if you're high class i'm not shading you might have some utensils but for the most part we use our hands with right. our meals right and how yeah. about the u.s what's the difference uh well <laughs> so i'm i'm a little sloppy so sometimes i no, <laughs> <laughs> what so in our culture, in the USA, you would use utensils. Right. Yeah. Um, Forks, For breakfast, knives. yeah. Spoon for cereal and mm -hmm. fork and knife for breakfast food. Right. Yep. And then another difference I notice is the setting, like where we sit. So where I'm from in the Congo, and again, this is just speaking from my experience. If you have, if you've had a different experience, I'm not saying the entire country of Congo is this way, but for the majority of the people I've met and have known, and just coming from that culture, we sit on the floor to eat. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't use a table. Right. To We're eat. here. You'd sit at a table, mm -hmm. upright, upright, and you'd have your Hands utensils and your yep. plate and your cup and your napkin. Everything set nicely. Yeah, no elbows on the table. <laughs> when I was little, we had a little song. What? If you put your elbows on the table, mm -hmm. they would sing a song. What's it called? Jory, Jory, strong and able. Get your elbows oh, off, off the, the table. table. Oh, yeah, Around the table, you must go. Hey. And you had to run around. Hey. But anyway, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. So there's like all these little manner things, and you sit up proper, and you each have your own plate, and. So anyway, we're more relaxed. Sit on the floor, eat, and enjoy yourself, okay? Yeah. Um, and also, another difference I've noticed is that in Congo, we eat in a community, meaning there is, I'm going to try and insert a picture somewhere here or a video clip so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so this is like hot sauce. Here, you guys would say hot sauce. Like chili paste. Chili paste. We call it pili pili. This is not the real stuff. This is like the Chinese ball store-bought the real stuff you make it fresh everything a lot of things back home is made fresh from scratch um and then we're eating gombe gombe is just beef in in a stew it's long red one right and then this is spinach i forget the name for it i'm gonna ask my sister and then put it up on the screen um and this one is in theta and um Sorry. Let me think. And theta and makayabu. So theta is just like melon seeds, ground. You call it ground, like it's gr ground. Yeah. yeah. Um. And makayabu is like. Well, how would you describe that fish you saw me making? The dry, it's just dry fish, right? Yeah. You yeah. Here it's just called dry fish. So I, you know. Mix them together, yeah, and tomato sauce and onions and all sorts of spices. And then this is called fufu, but in my mom's um, tribal language, it's called bija. And a lot of African, like in the continent of Africa, a yeah. lot of people eat this. Yeah. This is like the staple. Yeah, like the carb. The like carb. Meal. Yeah. yeah, we do eat rice too, but you, if you said fufu, everybody's gonna. And this it. stuff is heavy. <laughs> like, when you eat it, I had never encountered how much it would make me tired before I had that. So, tell them your experience about it. Just that when I ate it, then I started getting sleepy after. So good. Thank you. Wow. That's after we're done. 
Mm-hmm. She's like, mm. Mm. did you find it weird that we sat on the floor to eat or we shared? Yeah, it's a little strange to get used to. Mm-hmm. Mom? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't find it very strange because I've heard you talking about it, and plus, like me and Jabin, you, in the summer, we used to like sit on the concrete on the porch mm-hmm. and have our food on a skateboard beside us <laughs> and eat, so it's not really that mm-hmm. weird. Did or you find- playhouse. Did you find it nasty that people ate with their hands? A little bit at first. When really? You see people eat with forks all the time. Oh my goodness! That's so interesting. I used to be like. Ew. I think for the most part, I just, I just appreciate the culture and just dive in. You right. know, it's like, oh, that's what we're doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Huh. I never knew that. Yeah. Mm. What? That you found it like gross. Well, not gross, just, just different. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying, I was. I guess I was trying to figure out did they gross you out like that's just disgusting. No. Oh, okay. No. Mom. Hmm? Mom. Mommy. What was I gonna say? Oh, about it grossing me out. At first, I used to use thousands of napkins. Yeah. Like, ew, this is nasty. Now it's just like, who cares? My hands Ellie's are like. Eating. Ellie's like, yeah. wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Try to get like all the beef I can. Jabin. You're not even doing it right. You just go, like a little what? <laughs> African taco or something. That's an <laughs> insult, Jay Ben. Mm-hmm. So the, the way you're supposed to do it with fufu is take it in your hand and ball it up. <laughs> you ball it up and then whatever you want to get, you grab it with the tips tips of your fingers, holding the fufu further in your fingers. Mm-hmm. And then you take a little bit of the fufu each time you eat whatever you've grabbed. I love anyway, we eat in a community where you everybody have, everybody shares, shares a common plate, a common plate yeah. for the the. You'd have like a plate of meat. Meat. Everyone grabs out of the same dish. Veggie. And, and your um, your carb. carb. Yeah. Everybody shares that. Yeah. And also, before we begin to eat, there is a bowl that is passed around for you to wash your hands in. So everything is like community based. Mm-hmm. Where in the in the U.S., the difference is... It's, a, it's very individualized, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, so, to go wash your hands, like, each person goes to the bathroom, washes their hands, comes and sits down. Mm-hmm. And uh, at, when you sit down, you have your own plate, your own utensils, your own meal. You mm-hmm. you take from the serving dish with a serving utensil, spoon, or spatula, or whatever, you put it on your own plate, and then you eat your own portion. Mm-hmm. And we're not saying anyone is wrong. We're just right. highlighting the differences right. that we've noticed. And so it, sometimes it's hard for me because I grew up with the mentality that that's my food. You know, so like, <laughs> so you said, so like, it's so been, <laughs> so like if Ben is like trying to get something off my plate, I'm like, that's my food, right? But that's Facts. not necessarily healthy. Facts. <laughs> and I just love to eat. Um. So yeah, that's kind of what I've noticed. Uh, another difference I've noticed is like here is like the family will sit down and eat all mm-hmm. together. Uh, back home, it's more like um, the children would all have their own share of food, like where they can share, to share together. Among themselves. Right, and then the parents or the adults would be separate. So you never really eat um, as a family unit, but you eat as a family unit. I'm not like the in kids sub, eat subcategories. From the adult. Yeah, pretty much. Not subcategories. I don't know. Like I'm just like. Don't overcomplicate it. The kids eat one to... place, the adults eat. Well, I, I guess I didn't want to say you don't really eat like as a family unit because you eat at the same time. You're all eating at the same time, but the different. kids might be in one room and the adults are Correct. Room. Yeah. Again, this is just highlighting the differences I've noticed mm-hmm. and how I was brought up. Yeah. It might be different from another Congolese, but as for me and where I was born and where I came from, that's how we did things. Right. Um, so yeah, another things I, I think I've noticed, or what's the difference? Sorry if we're looking down as we're reading our notes that we were, that we written, so we won't forget, is that there's no set time. Like so, when I was back home, my aunt would go to work, and whenever she came back, we would have to go and fetch water because we didn't just have running water in the house like we do here. Unless, unless when you went to get it, you were running. Very funny. <laughs> Dad joke. Anyway, we would have to go fetch water, come back, and start preparing meals. Is that meal why your from... brother's so fast? Yeah. So 
sorry. Probably. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, preparing the meal from scratch. Um, so whenever that's done is when we eat. Mm -hmm. The difference is. So in the States, you have a set meal time. <laughs> We're eating at 530. So the person cooking is expected to have the meal ready. Mm -hmm. Appetizer or salad, main course, dessert, all prepared. Right. So that when guests arrive, mm -hmm. right at 530, the meal is set mm -hmm. and ready to eat. Mm -hmm. And everybody better be in their place on time or people are going to get offended. Okay. Okay. So, but I mean, it's not always that crazy, but that is that there is a distinct difference where we're eating at this time, you need to be there. Mm -hmm. Rather than this is a communal happening, mm -hmm. we're going to all get together, we're going to all talk fun. and laugh and right. cook together. Right. And, and eventually, once everything's cooked, we're going to eat and enjoy. Mm -hmm. And it just takes. Okay, so let me put it this way when people from the USA get together to eat, you, when you get there, you're ready to eat, uh, it's going to take like half an hour. Mm -hmm. Everyone's going to sit down, they're going to eat, and bada boom, bada bam, you move on. Okay? Uh, I think it's probably a good five to six hour process <laughs> in the Congo. <laughs> <laughs> <Dang. laughs> Did Something you enjoy like it though? Do yeah. you enjoy it? Yeah. yeah okay. But it's like, it's a happening. It's not just the food. It's right. not just the meal. It's the conversation. Yeah. It's yeah. the jokes. It's so the I, I learned the once that there's different cultures that do things different ways. Some people are time oriented. Mm -hmm. Some people are event oriented. Right. So I would say your culture is more event, event oriented, oriented and yeah. mine is more time oriented. So the joke I always have, it's not a joke, it's kind of well known fact. So like my mother-in-law had invited some um, of her African friends to come eat a meal with us, mm -hmm. with like her. We were there, we and were my there. mom and dad, and yeah. So then she was supposed to be there like what, 5.30 or 6 o'clock? And she was so. late. She was 15 minutes late already. And so Jory's mom was like, oh, where is she? I'm like, is she, Af I, at the time I didn't know, so I said, is she African? And um, she said, yes. Yeah. So I was like, ooh, <laughs> she might be on African time. <laughs> And she was like, what's that? She was, she was quite a ways, quite a while late, I think. She was like two, three hours late. Yeah. Now that is... Yeah. yeah. My but... parents were getting real salty. <laughs> like, what? That's rude. That's so, so... And it's true. In our culture, it's that's rude. It's considered rude. So I yeah. had to explain to them. And in the... Now I'm speaking of like the entire continent. But... Right. We're pretty laid back when it comes to yeah. like event things. Yeah. Like, but most Africans that live here learn that stuff. And we then eventually when she, learn. When she finally was able to contact us, this other gal, she was very apologetic. Right. She understood the American. The American, language. but for the most part, I mean, it's still a running joke today. Yeah. Like, you invite an African person to a party or any type of event, they will be late. So, yeah. FYI, mm -hmm. don't get mad. They're not trying to be rude. That that's just how they're raised. <laughs> Some people think that that translates into their professional life, and that is so false. Right. It Africans are very like professional, professional yeah. and very punctual and yeah. hard, extremely hardworking. That's true. So when it comes to work, it's it's different. So lunch. Okay. All things lunch. Yeah. What? Lunch is a more casual meal in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Sandwiches, finger foods. Um, like if you're at work, you would pack your lunch mm -hmm. or get it from the break room or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, uh, sitting down at the table or um, like I was out on job sites. So I would right. have a little cooler with my lunch, sit down at noon. Mm -hmm. We would stop our work like, okay, it's noon, lunchtime, half an hour. Everyone sits down, eats their lunch. Right. So from what I remember, there was no, this is lunchtime. And during lunchtime, I was in school. So... I didn't have lunch back home back home, home so yeah. if my aunt and uncle or my aunt wouldn't you know didn't give me any breakfast uh in the morning then i would have to wait till supper to mm -hmm. eat and that was pretty normal it yeah. wasn't like oh she's being starved it's just like that was Kinda just how it was. That's our way of life yeah. so there was no <clears throat> lunch you do have something in mind that you would like for us to address just leave it down below yeah we could we'll add a that. few topics if Correct. somebody has something they really yeah. want to see don't be shy leave it down ask any question yeah. there's no stupid question as my teacher used to say <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah don't forget to comment like subscribe and share and be sure to watch our last week's video i'm trying to, we're trying to get all those video views up 
So please do that for us. We would really appreciate it. Thank We're you We're gonna so go much. ahead and put a link up above yes. for you guys to check it out. Yeah. Ba -ma -ma. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy that cultural differences. Congo versus US. I know it's been a while since you've seen the kiddos. This one's more active now. <laughs> um, did you guys enjoy the food? Kind yeah, of, it was yeah. good. Yeah, I hope you guys at home would give it a try and I hope you learned a little bit more about the Congo. I love and love my country um, and I love the people. So we'll see you guys the following week. And yeah, yes. I guess try and figure out what the next topic is going to be about and if you have a specific topic in mind that you want us to do just comment down below mm -hmm. and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and with that being said dear friends keep, keep looking, looking up, up. Actually, not a bad taste. Taste, right?